I haven't, I haven't been here for a couple of weeks, and, uh, and, uh, um, uh, I'm not going to discuss it all on air, but I, um, did upset good old Will here. <laughs> but, <laughs> during my, uh, um, because of my, uh, ab- <laughs> because of being absent. Uh, well, it's just, yes, it, I've, I've come to terms with it. Tell so. the audience. Well, I'm very, sure they want to know. It's very good. It's very good that you're here today. It's yes. bright and early. Yes. And we're we're going to record a backup <laughs> version of the show that we could use. In the well, it should either of us not be here. Yes. Uh, we, we, go, we we must have automated systems, bits of the show that could be used on another occasion. So anyway, I'm just warning the audience of that because they may hear all of this again. I'm sure. But they if might. they missed it before. Um, one of the things which is which I've I've used as a practice, I think I can describe it as a practice. Um, we've been following the MOOC and um, Bet and all this sort of thing. That's uh, on my learning for the, people that don't yeah, know. learning learning stuff. Yeah, the MOOC. And um, there's a there's an American MOOC b- platform called Coursera, and they had a, a conference in London with a keynote speaker who was going on about thank you for being late. He thought it was a wonderful thing for people to be late. And we should all be very, very grateful. <laughs> I couldn't quite follow it. That's not your style at all, is it? <laughs> no, I'm the, I'm the sort of frantic, worrying person saying it's, it's 10 think, o'clock. It is 10 o'clock. I think you should actually uh, think about his point because I think it would um, diminish a lot of your panicking uh, if you went along with his thinking or... Um, at least experimented with his thinking. Well, I'm trying to follow it, John. I think what you were saying was that people are, people who are late are probably late for a very good reason. Yes. They're, they're thinking about something, they've, they've come across something else. Yes. Or whatever, and when they do turn up, there will be a benefit Yes. from this, this lateness. Yes. So, so if only you could get outside the worries of the situation that you're in, it would all make perfect sense, and it will ter- it probably will turn out well. I often discover as well that it's quite possible if you do turn up late to to um, a a thing or a conference or something, you're you're often because you're because you have been late because you are late, you're often more engaged than if you arrived early. How does that work, John? Maybe because if you if you if if you arrive late, this is my theory. I don't know if it's a good theory, but I would actually like to know what this bloke's, what this um, guy's theory was. Uh, but my theory is that if you arrive late, you are going to be rushing in to the actual event because you are running late. So that's going to actually make you be more engaged once you ah, get to the event right. that you that because you are you have you you are running late if you see what i mean yes okay. so that them the, that there is that way of looking at it as well um but i don't i haven't i haven't um seen what this i don't know the reasons why this guy has come up with this theory but i think that um me and him would actually get on quite well because um you know well, look, well, I'll, try, I'll try and look him up and try, been... try and get, get, more, get more information. He's written a book about it, Thank You For Being Late. I've forgotten his name at the moment. Right. But, um, Sounds very interesting. Well, I, th- I think so. I think, I think it's an interesting idea. But I think we need more robots as backup. Um, and then the, the, the human kind can, can forget about time and appointments and everything. <laughs> do, you, do you see, because the poor old phonic listeners... They, they, well, they, they, I mean, the, the, the playout system would have carried on, wouldn't it, if you we go, weren't here at you, 10 o'clock, I you, suppose? You, you talk about robots, though, but there are, there, are, there are certain robots that exist already, like a Alexa, Siri, or the, the box standard robots that you might know of. Well, yeah, I, mean, uh, yeah, I could imagine. All, of, all, of, all of this artificial intelligence intelligence is existing yeah. uh, that uh, you know that uh, I would like to remind everybody but you imagine where it is now and I think you imagine where it's going to be in 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 the next in the next um, you know couple of years yeah. I reckon that we might be able to 
actually rely on artificial intelligence more than humans. So I reckon humans are actually going to be put out of jobs because of artificial intelligence. Well, it could be. I've, I've got a, there's a fly buzzing in my headphones, but I think it's just me. It's coming from out there. It's out there. Yeah, they're they're doing some kind of. Uh, oh, it's a drilling. It's a drilling. Oh, that's all right. Um, that's all right. Well, maybe the audience can't hear that. I don't think so. No. No. Well, but I, I think maybe this this would be have to do with us gathering lots and lots of clips of the various shows that we've done and these new ones mm -hmm. and putting them in an, ar an archive somewhere and then maybe the robot could combine them. Right. That would that might work. Yes. So the robot we tell the robot this it's this sort of thing that we want to happen between well, I think perhaps she will just explain that, that we are the We Not Know show, but usually yeah. This is Kathy Towers. It Good. is normally Kathy Towers, and thank you uh, to Kathy Towers for letting us uh, take over. Um, we should be next week. And also, I would also like to say <coughs> <coughs> that, um, going back to our artificial intelligence oh, right, slightly, yes. I would also like to say that I would also like to believe that artificial intelligence robots will know more than humans as time goes on. And They'll know they, more than us. Well, they might be more intelligent than us. Well, they could be. Especially if you can, you can connect it up to a system or it's intelligent enough to update itself with new information. Well, yes. Yeah, I mean, one of the things is we, we know almost nothing about the audience. No, we don't. And the, the robots might be able to help us out with that if they were, if they were intelligent enough. They might know exactly who is listening to them. Yes. Because they'd probably the robots would probably do away with FM. Do you think? And just uh, demand that everybody <laughs> yes. bought a new device. Yes, yes. Alexa will tell you yes. what you should best be buying. Yes. And FM will be used for something else. Also controlling the curtains. Seeing we are living in a in a, in a in a in a technology revolution, I would also like to stress how important backups of your information on all these devices actually are so it's Im very important here to remember especially now we are living in a in in a technology revolution to actually back up your devices some way at least every day every day do you want every day i do a backup of my devices every single day Every day, I think it's important. Well, there you are, public service announcement. It is a public service announcement because all this technology is very good, but we are relying on technology every, you know, it's, 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 it's you know, it's so in our lives. And so backing up, in my mind, is extremely important. Well, just for continuity, I'm just going to mention an another thing about this show compared to next week and the fact that it's not the show you're expecting anyway. If, if you were expecting Kathy Towers this week, they, they, it's, 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 she's not here, it's us. But also, she had I've a, never met Kathy Towers, by the way. Oh, you have? You oh. have. She, she was the MC. Do you remember we went to um, Wonderful Women Sing? Oh. Which we, re, we, did some, we did a little bit of video there. She was the MC for that. She was introducing all the acts. What does she go? What is? What's her show about? What does she go on about? Well, I think she does. She does promote um, local singer-songwriters. She looks like quite an old woman, like she's getting on. Well, John, that's your point of view. Being such a youngster she, as you are, she's retired. Well, no. She. Well, we can. I mean, the listeners can't see, but we can see the the current phonic poster has got has got her image. Yes. We can see. Well, I I can just sit just through the window. I'm not sure you can see that distance, but no, I don't. Have, yeah. When we when we I leave out, that, you can take a image. And we'll have we'll have to we'll have to meet her one one day, John. Yeah, we will. One of the Wednesdays, maybe the first Wednesday in August. Okay. We'll we'll come down here and say hello. Okay. And you'll 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 get to understand what what her show's about. But it's it's a sort of mixture of um, sort of awareness and also a bit of business get, gets in gets into it as well. That's why I asked her about um, mindfulness. Yes. I thought she would know, and, and I sent her a, a, a tweet that we were sent. Yes. Which had a graphic 
um, a GIF. I am actually following her on Twitter myself. Well, she she tried it out. We we were sent a we sent a GIF to encourage us to breathe. Yes. Which I thought was an advanced idea, so I sent it to her to see what she thought. And she actually tried it. She tested it, and said the the timing was all wrong. Right. I mean, it still worked as a gift to suggest the idea that you thought about breathing a bit. Yes. To that extent, it worked. Yes. But she did check it out and um, have something to say about it. But look, the thing, the thing, the thing I, I, I really eventually want to tell our long-suffering audience, yes. who may be wondering what happened to the show they were expecting, that uh, Celia Delaney, who is part of the Exeter Fringe Theatre Festival... Um, she can't. She can't um, phone in this week anyway. Mm-hmm. She's rearranged her life, but we're hoping she can phone in next Wednesday. Okay. So that'll be part of our show anyway. Okay. Probably if it works, or maybe another time, and we'll say a bit more about C- Celia Delaney. Well, look, I'll just I'll just say, John, while, while I'm on, uh, before you play another track, I've got the I've got the program, the Extra Fringe Festival program. Which is now becoming quite scarce. Yes. There's a few at the box office upstairs at the Phoenix, mm-hmm. and there's I I've just taken the last one out of the um, Barnfield Theatre. They've got a box outside. There may be others available, but they seem to be disappearing. Celia Delaney is angelic? Question mark. 29th of July, nine o'clock. Mm. Um, at the barn, at the Barnfield. In the morning or in the evening? That's oh, that's in the evening. That's in the evening. 9 p.m. in the evening. Yeah, well, it's well. Then you can get another show in before. Yes. I think that's the idea. There's probably other things going on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but we'll have we'll say, we'll say a bit more about it later on because we found we found other things on Twitter and so forth. Mm-hmm. 